If you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and today I have three brand new stamp sets from Indigo Blue. So these stamp sets have just been released in the last couple of days so and they're all kind of art related. So the first one is called Art Gives You Wings and as you can see it's a really cool um, <coughs> stamp that has like a paintbrush with some angels wings but in the background you've got some nice kind of um, some script, um, some icons in there, there's kind of like some blueprints, there's, there's wordage in there too um, and it's a nice kind of size. So it says image is 80% of real size of stamp so there you go. That's how kind of big it is. Now you can see the size of my hand. So it is a decent size one. The next stamp set we've got is called Artist's Tools. Artist's Tools. Could be careful how to say that. <coughs> Could mean something completely different. So the first stamp set again has the paintbrush with those kind of blueprinty kind of things and these icons um, and circles over the top and in the background. And the next one is pencils. So again, decent sizes. So this can be teamed up with other circular motifs if you wanted to, with ink splats, that kind of thing. Um, nice kind of border ones as well because they're long and thin. So that's a nice set to have. And the third set we have is called Art Studio. Uh, and this one has pictures of inks and bottles, um, with a kind of blueprinty pattern in the background. This one has a paintbrush with the word imagine, some splatters, a little bit of detail in the background as well. This one is a separate one. So that's a separate stamp with your paint uh, tubes. And then this one is a row of pens, paintbrushes, um, pens and pencils as well. So, and then there's four sentiments that go with it or four or five. So you've got this one, you've got those two, which come on one, but you can cut them apart, and these other two. So you've got, you can't use up creativity, the more you use, the more you have. That's from Oscar Wilde. And this one that says, art washes away from the soul, the dust of everyday life, from our friend Pablo Picasso. And then this one that says, art is opening your soul to let your imagined imagination fly out. No attribution for that one. So a real cool, um, artistic kind of stamp set. So I don't think I'm going to have a chance to use all of them today. Um, so I'm going to probably put this one to one side and have a play with this maybe over the weekend. So you may see something from me on Saturday. But I think I'm going to use these smaller stamp sets today in an art journal project. So this is my small Dilusions flip journal. And I thought I would use this. Um, and create a little art journal page, maybe using one of the sentiments from this larger set, but build up an image using possibly all three of these images onto my art journal page. But before I do anything, put those stamps away, I want to create a kind of watercolour background. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring out some distress inks. So Distress Inks um, are one of those products that probably everybody has, um, water-based ink pads, and they've been around for that long now. We kind of look over them, um, or I have recently, in favour of other stuff. So I like the permanence of the archival inks, but for this, I want the properties of that watercolour. So I'm going to do a couple of um, or a kind of nice little background technique, and I'm just going to use crushed olive, which is a nice kind of greeny colour, and also scattered straw, which is a nice kind of pale yellow. So I'm going to put um, the lighter colour down first. And I'm not going to put it on there. I'm actually going to put it onto my ink block, my stamping pad. And just with a water mister, I'm just going to activate it on my block and then I'm going to bring my page in, I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm just going to drop it down. 
Now you can see how it's spreading underneath the journaling block. And I can push it down with a little bit of pressure just to get it to move a little bit more. And then when I take it off, I've got a little bit more left. And I can drop that down to get a kind of nice, motley kind of effect. Now I can lift up the journaling block. to get those kind of effects in the background. Maybe used a little bit too much water, but that's okay. I've used the lighter color first. So I'll just get that dried off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the scattered straw. Now, if I wanted to, I could then make that a little bit darker just by adding a little bit more of the ink, a little bit more water. Let's just add Let's get it all mixed. Just dry my fingers off on a piece of kitchen towel. Just manoeuvre it around and then just add it again. Put it there, put it down there, put it there. And then if we want to, we can just take off the excess. So we can deepen the colour in the background. So I'm going to put that to one side, just wipe off my block and then bring out the crushed olive. So this is a darker green, the yellowy kind of, well it's an olive green, uh, of course. Uh, look at that. Create some nice kind of effects on the page. I quite like that. See how we're kind of building up a nice little bit of background on there. Let's just get that dried off. Doesn't take long to dry at all. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab <coughs> my cracked pistachio. Let's just wipe that off. So it was either cracked pistachio or peacock feathers. I think cracked pistachio won out. So you're just going to add a little bit more of a greenish tone in into that background. More of a bluey green. Not quite a turquoise. And then I'm going to hit that with the heat gun. I'm not too bothered about the fact that there's some white over here. I'm not being too afraid of white space. So I'll get this dried off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken the Art Give You Wings stamp off the laminate and I've placed it onto the same stamp block that I used for doing the watercolour technique on the background. As you can see, it's a really, really nice fit. So I'm going to bring out another Distress Ink. This is Walnut Stain, which is a dark brown. Um, <clears throat> out of the 60 Distress Ink colours, um, I have 50. I don't have all 60 of the colours. Um, and now one of the ones which would have been ideal for this, which are really, really dark brown, would have been the Ground Express Espresso. But, you know, needs must. So this walnut stain, which is still a dark brown, will work just as well. So I'll just give it a real good ink up, make sure I've got a decent coverage. Now, as before, I'm not too bothered about getting a perfect um, perfect impression. Don't mind if it just goes off a little bit at the sides. I've kind of got that in the middle, I think. And then that should do me. Now because this is a page out of a book, I can't put it under the stamp press. So I'm just going to have to do my CPR bit on the stamp and hope that it comes out. There you go. That looks 
quite nice. So you've got that lovely colour coming through from the background, which is giving it some real nice background texture. Now I'm going to give this a quick blast just to make sure it's all nice and dry before coming in with the other stamps. So that's now nice and dry. So the next stamp set, the Artist Tools, I'm going to use both of these, but not obviously at the same time. So I'm going to take um, the pencils, which also have some nice um, sentiments in there. So art is opening your soul to let your imagination fly out, which is the same one is that on this set here. And then I'm going to make sure we've got the pencils going the right way. So that way there. And I'm just going to grab my ink block. And then with that walnut stain again, let's get it inked up. And on my ink pads, I've got the coloured um, label as well as that on the other side, just in case to store them with the coloured side facing forward. And I store all my distressings in colour group. So all my oranges and yellows together, all my reds together, all my blues and purples together, etc. Okay, so let's just drop this one down about there. I think when we do art journal pages, we kind of forget sometimes. We're so tuned in to um, throw in acrylic inks or acrylic paints and texture paste and that kind of stuff that we kind of forget the basics about just doing ordinary everyday stamping and kind of watercolour techniques on an art journal page. It's nice just to kind of step back and, and revisit it now and again. And of course, Distress Inks, I think this year are um, are 10 years old. I think they were released in 2008, so, or thereabouts anyway, if not already a decade old. <clears throat> I know for a fact that they were definitely around when I first got onto the arts and craft scene back in 2008. They were already all over the place then, um, but there was only 48 colours, I think, back then. Okay, so paintbrush, I want to go this side. Line it up and drop it down. Cool. Like that, just quickly give it a, a wipe off. That can go back onto my laminate. And they're ready for storing with all my other indigo blue stamps. Okay, so that's starting to look quite nice. So I want to try and pick out some of this um, colour for the sentiment now. So I'm going to try and find a darker kind of green colour. So forest moss, I think, which is a nice dark green, which is going to complement nicely. And I think I'm going to add um, this sentiment here, just down at the bottom of the page. So let's make sure we've got the right one. That's it there. Again, I'm going to just place it down just I don't want to get my head into shot. Or should I put it, I think actually just put it there. Because also in the background here, it also says art gives you wings to fly high. And then you've got the artist and the imagination, all kind of lovely little words in that background. So I'll just line that up. And then grab the forest moss, get that inked up. See, I may have to get my head in shot for this, so please do excuse if I do. Be able to see my bald spot. 
put it about there. I'll do. Cool. Like that. To one side. I've got back onto the laminate. And then we can start doing a little bit more fun stuff. So I'll put the walnut stain away over there and my forest moss can go away as well. And then what I want to try and do is I want to try and bring a little bit more colour. So I'm going to bring in um, another of the browns that I think will have brushed corduroy this time to the lighter brown. And my water brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of that ink onto my craft mat, pick up some of that ink, and then I can just start laying in some colour. Just loosely painting, not going mad. Up some dark colour just at the edges, just to give it a little bit of depth. A little bit of colour. I'm going to bring in aged mahogany, which is a kind of reddish brown. A tiny, tiny bit on my mat. Just clean off my brush. And then we can add just a little bit more colour. I'm going to go too mad. Just hints and touches of kind of red in there. And then we can just pick out other areas, just blend in just a little bit of colour. This is the fun thing about um, about using the distress inks as watercolours. You can pretty much pick up and put stuff wherever you want. So I'm just highlighting these kind of circle areas just to add. A little bit more interest in there. And that'll do actually for that. Nice kind of subtle palette. But it wouldn't go amiss just to add a little bit of a pop of colour. So I'm going to take some broken china. Ooh, this is dropping it in his lap. And then just take a real, real small amount of that blue. And then maybe just. a little bit over that yellow, just to kind of create a little bit of an effect on those wings. And 
then just using the water on the brush, just blend that out. Just pick up some of that blue, just drop it right in that centre, just to concentrate it a little bit. And then maybe a little light colour wash. Just to use up a little bit. think I'm done. Don't want to go too mad. And while it's still a little bit damp, there we go. That just lifts off that excess paint, lightens that, but you can still see that blue flash within the wings. I'm liking that. And that was fairly painless to do. But a really nice kind of relaxing art journal page, just using those two new stamp sets from Indigo Blue and just one of the sentiments from the new Art Studio set. But I will probably play with this set a little bit more over the weekend. So I think that's gonna be it from me for today. All I need to do now is just to sign it, if I can find a pen that works, that one will do. And then what I'll do is I'll just add that I knew one of these pens was running out. Uh, what date is it today? I've forgotten today's date. Ooh, it's the 19th today. So 19, 7, 18. Now I'm going to call this page done. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.